How do we create flexible color palette systems? Selecting one or two main colors for a brand can feel like a step forward, but now we need to have a wider variety of color shades, tones, and options to make our color palette versatile. When we start to craft our branded items like t-shirts, mugs, annual reports, app icons, we'll quickly realize that one or two colors restrict our ability to properly create our designs for all situations. Make sure to create color palettes with different shades. So shades mean it's the same hue, but adding black. And tones, which is the same hue, but adding a little white. This ensures you give yourself color options when designing materials. And every strong color palette needs a series of neutral colors. Bright colors are great, but what about colors for backgrounds and areas of a design where you do not want a distraction? I would suggest picking a few neutral colors, so creams, off-whites, or grays, to complement any type of bright color palette you may have. For this retirement community example we talked about just last lesson, we came up with two primary colors based on color psychology and some other industry research. But those are very limited. When you try to put things together and those are the only two color choices you have, you're extremely limited. And it's going to be nice to have much more color options for different situations. So adding a little bit of black and adding a little bit of white to each color, and in some cases adding a little bit of gray, can change the hue slightly to give you a wider color palette. So you can see here how we took the two primary colors and we were able to uh, create different shades and tones of that as well. And also see the neutral complement. So we, we created a warm tone to counterbalance the cool colors that were picked. But we kept it neutral, we kept it muted so that if we have these bright colors and we needed to have something muted to, to use along with it, we can. And not to complicate matters, but I don't want you guys to forget about your color harmony options. And I went over color harmonies a lot in my beginner level design masterclass. But in this case, we have analogous colors, which are colors that stay together, which tend to, to really have a nice color palette. There's also complementary, so these are going to be opposite on the color wheel. So if you have purples, uh, usually a yellow is a nice complement. These are very often used by brands because they have high contrast to them. You have monochromatic, you have triad. So visit this, I'm just at color.adobe.com. If you have a certain color palette you want to put in there and you want to find an anal analogous color or find the complementary color, this is an easy way to do that. So we have several things in our arsenal. We have color harmonies, we have color psychology, we have mood board photo inspirations where we can sample photos. We also have a research where we can type in certain trending color palette combinations. And lastly, we did some competitor research and found out what other people are doing. So based on all those different factors, we're able to give us a lot of help and a push toward the right direction. So I'm going to take a lot of the notes that we developed and I'm going to start to create a couple of different color palettes. We're going to be able to create our first finished project, which will be chopstick wrapper design. That's definitely something the client requested that we do. And I thought it'd be a great project to do because we already have the logo finished and our typographic system developed. So we are ready to, to create that first project. It'll be a great way to test out our different color palette choices. Do we want to go bright? Do we want to go traditional? Do we want to go subtle, muted? I'm not sure. I think this first project will really help us apply color to a real project situation. So finding color inspiration from a product or service. So sometimes that spark of inspiration could come from studying the company's unique service. For example, our sushi restaurant, I found inspiration from various varieties of fresh raw fish they use. Their unique product offering is that they use only super fresh fish and they do not hide their fish among other common sushi ingredients. So we wanted to really bring out that unique aspect of the brand by focusing on its entire color palette on a series of raw fish colors. I found the shades of colors using a combination of different photos I found online. Of course, you can see a neutral color used that complements the more vibrant color options. So that's where I thought of that dark, rich, blue, shaded black. So we want to have more than one color palette to show on our project. So there is the, that really bright, vibrant 
option the client was exploring in the client brief in terms of style. And we put together that stylescape that had those yellows and, and, and very bright poppy colors. So I went to color.adobe.com and tried to find a really nice uh, color palette just to get some ideas. And then I decided to create my own uh, that used a wide variety of really vibrant, high saturation colors. So that's where the inspiration for this palette came from. Once again, the client is really going to be able to tell us what direction they want to go in when we present our chopstick wrapper project. Lastly, a third option we want to make sure we present is the more traditional subdued color palette. So I love the color purple here because color purple is associated with royalty. And I thought that tied in really nicely with tradition and also a nice complement to purple is kind of more of this warmer, deeper, uh, goldish color. So in terms of color harmonies, I used a little bit of complement colors to kind of pick these two out. So all three of these are going to be really interesting color palettes to test out on our product. So what we're going to do in the next lesson is we are going to create our sushi wrapper using our logo system we developed using our typographic system and now applying lastly our color palette to see what really uh, comes out as the winner.